What up, Huggable Peeps? How's your Thursday going? Mine's pretty decent, I guess. Anyway. <laughs> this hair, though, what do I think of it? Anyway. I'm here to share another paranormal story that's been hanging around for I don't know how many years. It was first, supposedly first reported by teenagers in the 1960s that to a sheriff, there's been there is a mysterious light coming in. They don't know if it was headlights or what. Headlights, headlights from the uh, highway near it. Now, mind you, I've heard and read reports that this has been going on for maybe over a hundred years. Less well, that I don't know. I can tell you this: it has many stories. Many names. Three that I found. One is the someone calls it the light of holding. <laughs> dog the light of dog metal or dog metal light. Or as I know it and many others do up here, uh the holding light. Now there have also been investigations like there was a group of students from um Michigan Tech I believe it was until and who did their own investigation with telescopes all that white stuff oh I am so sorry I can't anyway and then there's been a show like Sci-Fi's very own uh, fact or fiction or fact or fake paranormal files, um, which aired. This episode aired in 2000, 2010, and they came. They've done. They pretty much remade. Did everything that they could to um, capture and see. Oh, was it highlights from the on? Um, from the passing cars, headlights, headlights, could have been swamp gas, could have been helicopter lights. No. Supposedly they even have st have things on tape. They recorded what they were talking. It's I've seen the episode so many times. Yeah. Holy cow! It's so boggles. And I've seen it a couple times already. And holy cow! Now, if you go up there, um, let me say something else. Be, be courteous. If you have trash, pick it up, put it in a trash can, um, turn your car off, highlights off, cell phones, leave them in there. You either, you can either sit in your car and watch, or you can sit outside. And if you speak, I recommend don't or whisper because it takes time for the light to come out. And when it does, it can be anywhere from red, from white to red, and I don't turn as far as I know, blue to green. Um, let's see here. Anyway, some of the stories is one is um it used to have railroad crossing or railroad, you know, part of the railroad and. One night, the brakeman was trying to signal to the train that, hey, um, there's a railroad cart on the track. You're going to crash into it. And unfortunately, he did not survive. He was killed between the cars. Others say it has been a 
mail carrier who is the light is the mail carrier that unfortunately also got killed on the tracks or another one is a dancing a ghost of an Indian dancing on the power lines that go around across the valley. Now having said that it's been known around here for many, many years, like I said. And it is really spooky. Like one of my I've um someone I knew who used to live upstate from me and my ex um said that he went there one night. He witnessed the light. It was you know, bright, I guess, and he went, he went, he turned his car, you know, so he turned his car on, backed out, and he saw something that was running. But what the heck? It followed him all the way up the road, and it was turning red. Guys, I cannot make this up. He was freaked the heck out. Now, mind you, when I went up there, I was freaked the heck out. And there's been other stories of people walking around and walking over by and they see people you know people are hiding around the fire figures and, and this is known as shadow people now whether they were campers or passengers on train I don't really remember or know but it's been told that they can uh, if you walk around you can see a group of dark figure sitting around with some, what looks like a fire. Um, people have been known to walk around in a circle thinking they walked the trail and they're somewhere else. Nope. Um, yeah. All sorts of things. There's even a sign. On the sign it does say the um, the one legend. And I don't know if it's up, still up there or not. To be honest with you, because uh, it's been many years since I've been up there. But this sign reads, um, and I quote: "This is the location from which the famous Pauline Light can be observed. Legend explains its presence as a railroad brakeman's ghost, destined to remain at its at the site of his untimely death." He continues to wave his signal lantern as a warning to all who come to visit. Yeah, so it is a little on the spooky side, but it's interesting. There's also been pictures of figures that who knows what they are. You know, could they be bugs? Could they be figments? Who knows, but I've seen them, and holy cow, they look real. <laughs> so, there's just been so much, so many stories, like, there's even local rumors that TV show, like, Ripley's Believe It or Not, which aired in, I don't know, I can't, maybe this one aired in the 80s, um, I don't know, right now. that's what takes us so long, you guys, I literally, write down everything and I'm trying to play my words and it's driving me nuts. But anyway, um let's see here. Like shows like Ripley's like I was saying Ripley's Believe It or Not, which aired this one aired from nineteen eighty two to nineteen eighty six. But there's another version of it now. That was said that they came up, locked the yeah, blocked the streets and did everything that they could to figure out what was what and they they couldn't figure out so they were offering at the time a hundred thousand dollar reward now when this was also said the person that wrote this article um, said that this later turned out to be false. Unfortunately, Ripley's didn't really have an interest in coming up and investigating it, or if that, same with Unsolved Mysteries. 
But there are other lights. Mind you, um, one is in, let's see here, in Garden, Guardian, Guardian, Arkansas, um, nickname the Guardian Light. Um, you know, it's, yeah, it's that. <laughs> it's spooky as heck, I'll tell you that much. But the phenomenon has been interesting to look, to go and see, and just kind of witness something. That maybe smell gas, headlights, taillights, helicopter, paranormal, like a ghost, who knows? I'd say, honestly, take the information I give you, um, Google, <coughs> sorry, Google, um, Paulding Light in Paulding, Michigan, in there, and read and make your own conclusion. And like I said, if you're ever up here, and you kind of want to see for yourself, it doesn't always come out, sometimes it does, it's a bit of like that. Anyway, if you go up there, turn off your car, headlights off, don't make any noise, don't speak, and if you have to speak, whisper. Otherwise, wait. Because, unfortunately, any sound too much, it really will not come out. I know that sounds weird, but it's true. Like I said, I've witnessed that I've... There's... I don't know if I said this, but there's been stories for years about what was, what happened, you know, everything, like I said, from shadow people to going around circles to weird audio files being heard to, um, pictures of creatures, you know, all sorts of things. But, anyway... Um, I'm sorry if this kind of was bouncing back and forth and maybe not so interesting, but anyway. So, and it takes me so long because I kind of want to get as much information as I can, and what I do have, I I usually list the sorts below, sources that I get from below. So, anyway, that's it. Oh, I almost forgot, I almost forgot, I almost forgot, guess what, guess what, can you guess, can you guess? Oh my god, guess what? <laughs> I'm looking. We have made to 38 Pugmo peeps. Yay! I lost my mind when I saw that. I'm like, huh? 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 <laughs> so anyway, um, I want to thank you guys. Because like I said, every time we have another new viewer, subscriber, I celebrate each and every one of them. Because it's something to be proud of. Because you have someone that comes and decides to listen, listen and watch you ramble about this and that and the other thing. And they're like, oh, I like this. Click. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, that's that. And, oh, okay. I also have another thing. Um, someone I've known for a while has a YouTube channel and the group is called the group is called The Lesser More. Now, fair warning, there's songs, there's a lot of songs on there that mm, it's kind of iffy, so if you have young kids, don't, if you get offended easy, don't listen, but otherwise, Lesser More, I will find your link and I'll put it below. Show them some love if you need a UP because honestly, they are just that, they're awesome. The kid that spits out the rhymes is fan for fantastic. So anyway, enough of the rambling, I'm gone. If you haven't subscribed already, please hit that red, red subscribe button down there. Yeah, feel me. Um, yeah, and you can be part of the Grumpy Pokemon crew. We're awesome. Um, and thanks for hanging out with me and this Grumpy Pokemon over here who's sleeping. And chewing. Chewing. Um. There's a little bug behind me. 
I love you guys. I'm sorry this is so long, but it had to get made. I gotta go. If you like story videos like this, give this video a thumbs up, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Not my social stuff will always be down below. I love you guys. I'm out of here. Bye.